Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Hungry Diners with me, Peter and Oni. Right now, we are in Telamarine Airport. We are about to board a plane to Dunedin via Brisbane. Dunedin is a small city in New Zealand. This flight is gonna be in business class, so we booked a return ticket on business class with Virgin Australia. So we're gonna try four different business class in a span of a week. So there are only like eight seats and two rows in the small body plane, the 737 plane. 800. Yeah, 737 800. This is gonna be a review of four flight, giving you the summary, the highlight, and potentially at the end, we're gonna summarize which seats it's potentially the best. So in case you guys wondering why we fly business class with Virgin Australia, it's because they have a promotion back then, mm -hmm. a couple months back, yep. they have a, a double status credit basically on any flight that you book with them on certain period of day so we decided to go to Dunedin because it's quite cheap we aim to get a platinum status platinum yeah and gold <laughs> with this return ticket you know weather is really good really gonna be a glorious day for flying and hopefully the weather in New Zealand is also as good as in Melbourne Our flight from Melbourne to Brisbane took about an hour and 35 minutes. There was a very minor delay due to the red arrival of the aircraft, but as soon as it arrived, we were boarded pretty much right away. There are only 8 business class seats in both domestic and international short haul flights, with a 2 2 configuration across two rows. For this flight, we choose the front row on the left hand side. The small number of seats allow for a quite personalized service, which is great. The seats are all leather and are quite comfortable, but they are very basic. No charging port, no leg rest, and you can only recline the seats. The leg room, however, is very spacious. Virgin Australia branded tablets were made available to all business class customers, which includes a variety of movies, TV shows, radio, and ebooks. While the selections are limited, we believe they are good enough to keep you entertained during the short durations of the flight. However, according to their website, these in-flight entertainment tablets will no longer be provided to the business class customer after the 30th of September 2019. Given the durations of the flight, we were served lunch not long after taking off. There were only two options for lunch for business class customer, the radicchio salad and the braised beef brisket. The menu is designed by a resident chef, Luke Mangan. Both were beautifully prepared by the cabin crew, and they were pretty tasty. For airline food, they were well above the standard. In all honesty, it is hard to fault the service on Virgin Australia flight, and this was no exception. Even though the crew in this flight was not super chatty, but they were very professional. It was a very enjoyable and relaxing flight. The additional space and the leg room did make a difference even on a short flight. The weather in Brisbane was superb. Sunny day, happy day. We had a couple of hours of layover before our next flight so we headed down to the lounge to relax and get more food. Virgin Australia recently opened its own airline lounge in Brisbane International Terminal. 
but it wasn't ready when we were here. So we used the Plaza Premium Lounge instead. It is a very decent lounge to relax, get some more food, and even take a shower. So after killing time in the lounge, it was time to board the short-haul international flight to Dunedin. For this flight, we chose the right-hand side of the front row. The food options were also the same to our previous flight, the radicchio salad and the braised beef brisket. We were worried that the salad option will not be that filling, so we kindly asked the crew member if we can get another option, which was the chicken with mashed potatoes. And they were happy to accommodate our request, so we had the salad as our entree and the chicken dish as our main meal. Again, the service was just flawless. The crew on this flight was super friendly and they were very accommodating especially when we were asked about the different options for the dinner. They even gave out a couple of tips as it was our first time visiting New Zealand. We spent about a day in Dunedin and made a video on things to do in Dunedin. You guys can check that video out by clicking the little card on the top right hand corner or check the links to the video in the description box below. After spending about a week in South Island, New Zealand, we were ready to go back to Melbourne, Australia. Virgin Australia doesn't have a dedicated lounge in Dunedin International Airport, so we were given out a breakfast voucher instead. We did get some breakfast selection, including the very famous Dunedin cheese roll. The flight back to Australia was a two-legs flight from Dunedin to Brisbane, then to Melbourne, all in business class. We are on the way back to Australia, flying back from Dunedin to Mel to Brisbane and then on the way to Melbourne and we're sitting in the business class 2C and 2A. This is the second row of two rows of the business class. It was a very early morning flight so we decided to sleep in for a bit before the breakfast time. The view was amazing from up here as we saw the sun rose creating a beautiful morning line. We chose the wrong side of the seats though, we should be opting out for the right hand side to get a better view of the sunrise. The breakfast was amazing from Virgin Australia. We had two options, the breaky bowl of granola, rhubarb and yogurt, and the second option is the chorizo with mashed potatoes. Both come with a choice of bread and a bowl of fruit salads. They are very, very tasty.
we didn't get a chance to try the in-flight internet connectivity on the previous flight. But Virgin Australia offers a 15 minutes complimentary Wi-Fi for all Trans-Tasman flights. And it was a good time to try it out. The setup was fairly quick and easy. And the connection speed was quite fast. As soon as we get connected, all our social media notifications were coming in straight away. It is very handy in case you need an internet connection in the sky. Again, not much to do or explore in this short haul international flight. The entertainment unit was very handy as we spend the time catching up with the latest movie, but it is a shame it will no longer be available. Overall, it was a very enjoyable flight. The weather was sunny as we approached Brisbane International Airport. It was a perfect day to fly. We can't fault the service as the crew were very friendly and honestly, Virgin Australia crew were just amazing. Guys, we are back at Brisbane Domestic International Domestic Airport. Yeah. Sorry, not international. So we've completed the third leg from Dunedin to Brisbane. It was a lovely flight, but pro tip, choose the right side of the seats because it's where the sun's gonna come up so you're gonna see a beautiful sunrise in the morning if you take that flight but right now we're gonna complete this uh, last leg of the status run velocity platinum status run double status run double credit status run brisbane was amazingly sunny the weather was just brilliant here but it's time to go home for this flight we choose the right hand side of the second row these were the only business class seats that we haven't tried. The extra space was just brilliant, even on a short flight. So guys, this is our last leg for our double status credit run. So, can't wait to go home, back in Melbourne, back to the cold weather in Melbourne. Your seat back is upright with the armrests down and tray table folded away. At this time, your window blind must be open. Please check that your cabin baggage is securely stowed under the seat in front of you, as the aisle and exits must be completely clear. Handheld electronic devices are to be held in your hand or stowed in your seat pocket. Thank you for your attention and enjoy your flight with Virgin Australia. The lunch options was as good as our previous flight. They were exceptional. We think they are doing a really good job in food department. With little over half an hour to go, we use the time to continue catching up with our favorite TV series at the moment, The Big Bang Theory. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end, so did our short trip to New Zealand. We posted our New Zealand trip videos on our channel, so if you haven't checked them out, it is the right time to do so. You can find the links to the videos in the description box below. Okay guys, we are back now in Melbourne. We try all different seats in four different flights. Yes. For different business class flight, actually, for this status credit run. Anything to say? 
I like it. You get what you paid for. Yes. Maybe? <laughs> well, basically, it's really enjoyable experience, and yes. all different seats has different. I don't know plus and minuses. I think, but I for me, I like the second row better. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. A uh, little I bit more so. private. Private. A little bit more private yeah, as well. Less catas catastrophic as well. Yeah, yeah, so because... Uh, you, you feel like there's a lot of passengers in front of you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, let us know um, in the comment below if you have any questions regarding this Virgin Australia business class flight. This is a domestic flight. <laughs> it's a small body plane, 737-800 uh, plane. So there's only eight seats. But yeah, we've tried all of them and it's really enjoyable flight. Yeah. Um, if you like this video guys, don't forget to give a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel because yeah. we post a new video every Sunday and make sure you turn on that notification <coughs> bell as well because whenever we post a new video, you'll always get notified of our latest video. And we'll keep you updated when we get the platinum status yes. on Instagram. Check out our Instagram account as well. Yes. Until then, stay police, stay hungry, bye! bye.